commentary on Henry Handel Richardson's The Getting of Wisdom. Okay. My name's Daniel, and um, I've read The Getting of Wisdom and a while ago. That's all I'll really say. But, um, Laura ran both of them. Victorian lass from Victoria in Australia. Young lady full of hopes and dreams with a anxious younger sister and a concerned mother who wants to make sure Laura finds her way properly in society. Or she goes to a Presbyterian boarding school's girls, girls boarding school. There are strict teachers and there are more compassionate teachers. With her adventures that she goes through in wit and wisdom, she learns a bit of wisdom, she gets a bit of wisdom. She gets experience from life in her encounters. And uh, one would say, by the end of the novel, she's come out a little bit older and a little bit wiser. Beginning of Wisdom functions in uh, a very traditional way of a novel. There's usually a reasonable point to this story, illustrating that sort of lifestyle of a uh, girl's boarding school lifestyle in the early part of the 20th century. And uh, I'd say from my observations, which I know of in life, it seems to be accurate enough. I don't have a huge amount of experience with Port and School life, but I've uh, seen a few things. But it's it's Australian, and it's uh, personally, I don't think it's necessarily too dated. The cultural reality is not quite the same today in 2019, but the uh, vibrancy of the spirit in there. The vibrancy of the characters and the quite real sort of characters and uh, the issues which Laura faces. Same today. It's still relevant. It's still the kind of knowledge and teaching and uh, ideas which girls like Laura Randolph still go through. It's a timeless sort of classic and it's often been called a classic of Australian literature. It's a favour. Haven't read any of our other Henry Handel Richardson's work yet, just for getting the wisdom. But um, I was quite impressed with it, and uh, it wasn't a novel which I didn't persevere with to get finished. There was enough inspiration to go all the way to the end with it. Laura is a bit of a, um, well, she's a real girl. I saw once a, uh, there are on some editions of Beginning of Wisdom, which you can see on Google Images or on eBay, where we see the covers, there's a picture of a boarding school girl with an anarchy A symbol on the cover. And it's just sort of, a, sort of representing that she's a little bit of an anarchist. What, what's really going on with that she does her own thing a bit. She sort of goes her own way a little bit. But, um... I think we all do that when it comes right down to it. Laura's no huge surprise in that respect. Yeah. Charm. has real charm. But people say that about these books. I suppose we don't really know what charm is necessarily until we get a bit older. We we'll learn to appreciate the uh, qualities we see in other people and, and things in the world. But it wasn't boring. And today, if someone read it, I don't, I don't think they'd find the book boring. It's generally got, it's, a, it's an interesting enough little story. And, uh, yeah, pretty good one. I'd rate it highly. I won't give a rating out of ten, but I'd rate it highly. And I would, in fact, recommend The Getting of Wisdom by Henry Handel Richardson. Good read. And there's the movie, of course, and, uh, made in the 70s, 
you can get that on eBay as well. And um, one of those things which Australia can probably be reasonably proud of. Cheers.